In this lesson, we're going to look at how to choose the best method for solving a system. We've talked in previous lessons about the substitution method and the addition method, and now we need to think about how we're going to know which method is best on a particular problem. So here's what I do. If one of the equations is already solved for a variable, then use substitution because it's already started for you. If both of your equations are in standard form, but one of the variables has a coefficient of 1, then you can choose either method. But otherwise, choose the addition method. Let's look at a couple of examples together. Let's look at x equals 3y plus 7 and x equals 2y minus 1. Now in this equation, um, both of them are already solved for x. So I think substitution is just perfect here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to say x equals 2y minus 1. So I'm going to replace the x in this other equation with 2y minus 1. And now we have an equation that says 2y minus 1 equals 3y plus 7. If I subtract 2y from both sides, I'll get negative 1 equals y plus 7. Subtract 7 from both sides, and I get negative 8 equals y. Now I'm going to plug that number back into either one of our equations, and I just happen to choose the bottom one. 2 times negative 8 is negative 16, and negative 16 minus 1 is negative 17. And you would have gotten the same answer if you had chosen to plug into the top equation. So our answer is negative 17 comma negative 8, because remember we always put the x coefficient first and then the y. Now let's look at 2x plus 5y equals negative 4 and 3x minus y equals 11. You could solve this for y pretty easily, but I think I'm going to choose to solve it by the uh, addition method. Um, we could make both of these coefficients add up to zero if we could make the bottom y term be negative 5y. So let's multiply the bottom equation by 5 and then we will have 2x plus 5y equals negative 4 on top, 15x minus 5y equals 55 on the bottom. That will give us 17x equals 51 so x equals 3. Now we plug the 3 into the x place in either equation, and I chose the bottom one again. So 3 times 3 minus y equals 11. So 9 minus y equals 11. So negative y equals 2, and y equals negative 2. And our solution is 3 comma negative 2. Now let's look at x over 4 minus y over 4 equals negative 1, and x plus 4y equals negative 9. Now I chose this one because with this being a fraction, I knew it would throw a lot of people off. And so one thing you might want to do is think about eliminating this fraction by, by multiplying the entire equation by 4. But before we do that, let's also think if we multiply everything by 4, the coefficient of our x is going to be positive 1. And really, this one already has a positive 1, so if we could make this one a negative 1 while we're at it, then that would just you know save us one more step. So I'm going to multiply the entire equation here, not by positive 4, but by negative 4. All right, now... Negative 4 over 4 makes negative 1. So I have negative 1x, and negative, one, negative 4 over 4 makes negative 1 here also, so negative, negative 1 makes positive 1. And then on the right side, negative 4 times negative 1 is positive 4. Now let's add our two equations together, and we will have 5y equals negative 5. Divide both sides by 5 and we have y equals negative 1. Now take that negative 1 and plug it back into either equation. I bet I can guess which one you choose. We choose the one with the whole numbers. 
So x plus 4 times negative 1 equals negative 9. Let's add 4 to both sides, and we'll have x equals negative 5. So our solution looks like negative 5 comma negative 1. Now, because this equation started out with a fraction, and it was a little unusual, it just seems like good common sense here to check this one to me. So I'm going to plug in negative 5 for x and negative 1 for y. So I end up with negative 5 over 4 minus negative 1 over 4. Now, negative, negative would be positive. So negative 5 plus 1 is negative 4, and the denominator is positive 4. Negative 4 divided by 4 is negative 1, so that equation works. And we have to check the second one as well. So negative 5 plus 4 times negative 1 will give us negative 5 minus 4, which is negative 9, so that equation works also, and therefore our solution was correct.